Welcome to the Ambrose Asylum. Yeah. And we have some serious investigative journaling on tap for tonight, so let's get right down to business. Please welcome my guest. Try to be nice. Stephanie McMahon. One of the powers that's oh, sick my name. <laughs> Technically, Stephanie McMahon wants Dean Ambrose to have Stephanie as a guest. So, why are you doing this? <laughs> I bet Ambrose is clapping for her. Look at the rest thing. Thank you for having me. Truly, I'm honored to be here in this set. It's um, it's so eclectic. It's it's so you. I mean, it's the Ambrose Asylum. Glacial. Yeah, there's some chairs though. No, we're sitting. Look at this. It's standing. What to expect? With this whole nice Stephanie, this whole Stephanie man being nice thing we got going on. He's she's Monday night Monday night raw includes Shane O'Mac. Man are getting along, so that getting along, that's good to know. I must pronounce it English because I don't speak English that good enough. Oh crap! <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even want to see it. I don't think you should embarrass Stephanie like that. Well, you shouldn't pull the ref out in the first place. And my lessons, you know, can hurt speaking of things that just gotta hurt. <laughs> After seven years away, your brother Shane McMahon returns to Monday Night Raw. Yep. To a hero's welcome. He's beloved. Everybody loves him. Everybody loves Shane O'Mac. Exactly. Everybody loves him. Everybody. Can we have Shane Mac back in the Ambrose Asylum, please? And, you know, that might have bothered you a little bit, but to make matters worse in, like, no time flat in, like, one week, he's running raw better than the authority ever did. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to sting, right? Well, I, you know, I'm not so sure I agree. It's the second half of your statement that since you're asking the question, I mean, regardless of the reason that Shane abandoned the WWE, for seven long years. I mean, they still, they love him. And I think that that just speaks to the loyalty of the WWE universe. And that loyalty is very... Hey, Luigi has her YouTube channel for seven years. So loyalty, loyalty is very important to you. Loyalty means everything to me. I mean, without the loyalty of the WWE universe, its superstars, its employees, I mean, where would WWE be? Loyalty is a big thing. It's very important to you, I can see. And you've shown that. Your whole career here at the you. WWE. You've been here for years. You've never left. Think of all the time and energy and sacrifices that you've put in to WWE. Being here all the time, 24 7, because of your loyalty to your dad, your loyalty to the WWE, your loyalty to the family business. I mean, think of the sacrifices. I mean, how many of your kids' birthday parties have you missed? How many school dance recitals? How many ballet recitals have you missed? Because you're sitting in some board meeting somewhere. I mean, think of all the hours spent for 
production meetings with, with Vince McMahon, hours upon hours of flying all over the world. This is really and awkward. Doing charity work and all the great things you do. Uh, they spread the brand of the WWE all across the globe because of your loyalty to this company. I mean, well. I don't know, do you think Shane has made all those same sacrifices as you? Do you think Shane McMahon has... Has made all the same sacrifices of his time and his energy, his family over the last seven years as you have. Um, um, like that would burn me up if Shane McMahon comes back after seven years. This is awkward. Let you guys both run raw. I mean, that's got to make you uh, got to get you pretty hot, right? It's got to grind your gears. Ambrose. Got to get you a little upset, right? It's just got to burn you on the side, huh? This is awkward. learning a lot of lessons these days and that was that sometimes things just need to change and that was exactly why he granted control of Monday Night Raw to both my brother and I and, and now I think it's time that I apply that lesson to you I mean Dean you've been doing the Ambrose Asylum now for what like three four weeks yeah and I think it's time for a change don't you um, it's a new era. I mean, Shane, Shane helped me create the Ambrose Asylum, and so now I am going to officially cancel it. What? How are you going to do that? You can't do that. Is that a lesson that hurts that you were referencing earlier? You He's asking. have got to be kidding. Is it okay for me to ask questions? I'm your, oh, I guess so, because you don't have a show anymore, so. Why don't you just clean this stuff up and... This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah. You know, it's, I, mean, I thought I was going to be the next Jimmy Fallon or the next Jimmy Kimmel or that English guy. But I don't know. I guess we had a good run, right? Yep, we do. You know, hustling the talk show is pretty hard anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. He's bleeding again. No. Oh, dude, really? Damn it. 
You dang Canadian! Oh, please don't hit that pot and plant on Jarek. Please don't hit that pot and plant on Ambrose! Don't! <laughs> don't! I would recommend not hit Dean Ambrose with the pot and plant. Jericho, you are the dirtiest playboy of them all. Dean Ambrose is the dirty one. He's the one.